welcome back my friends and in this video we are going to learn the micro strategy reporting and uh, we will create a report using string template so uh, this is going to be a practical videos we are not going to into any any theory and we are going to learn how to create a reports practically so to do this exercise you have to log in into your micro strategy web console and this is all uh, you know this should be the the url uh, not the library sorry that's my library page has been open so uh not this one let me just Usually that's uh, that's your URL HTTP or HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash then the server name micro strategies forward slash ASP forward slash main dot ASPX. So on this page you have to log in. So let's wait uh, to log into this main dot ASPX page and we are going to look how you can create the reports. So now our main.aspx page has been loaded successfully and you can see all the all the projects available into my into my, my project source and this is basically depends how you configure your system whether you just want to see all your projects uh, without login or with the login so that's you can also have the control let me show you how you can change this setting into the micro strategy then you need to go to where is it let me http slice localhost and micro strategy sp dot sp slash admin dot aspx page so from here you have the options to configure uh, how you want to see your projects whether you just want to so all the projects connected to the web server before the user login or login and then show the projects accessible if i just change it set change this setting here and let me try it it may not yeah so now you can you can't see any any projects before login so you can see all the project after login now you can see though this all all the projects so let's start our, our exercise we are going to uh, create a reports with the existing templates and i'm going to into my micro tutorial projects and continue okay and here uh, you can see uh, shared reports my reports history list my subscriptions you can create the dossier you can add the external data you if you have any dot mstr file you can upload the, them here you can create the reports documents filter prompts metrics custom groups from the web console so it's give you a you know uh, ample opportunity and ample features on the web console only to configure and create a lot of stuffs so i'm just going to under click on the my reports here and under the my reports i'm just going to click i'm just going to create a new folder and let's let me give the name uh, exercise one and under this uh, this folder exercise one we are going to create a reports so to create a reports you need to go to this red big 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 uh, big uh, button here uh, on on the create you need to create click on the create and here you have the same options as you can see on the on the last page so you have the same option you can create the dossier reports documents a lot of stuff so yeah. okay so our, our goal is to create a reports with existing uh, existing template so if you just want to create a report from scratch which we are going to create in our next videos so you can choose pick and choose the blank report but if you are using any templates which are the existing template you can see we have the couple of templates available into the micro strategy environment so we are going to select this employee analysis and this is going to open an existing template
Okay, so this is the template where you can see the you you if you just go to the you know the left left bottom corner, you have the report objects, all objects, MDX objects. So right now it's selected the report objects and and whatever objects, whatever attribute and metrics are associated with these templates, you can see them here. But if you just want to go to you want to see all the objects, then you'd have to select these all objects. So I'm going to click on the report objects here. And here you need to click double click on this reason and then reason going to be uh, added into your into your report report pane here so that's the, that has been added right so all all usually the the attributes added into the row but you can add them into the column as well but but usually it's added into the row okay so and now you need to go to uh, click on manager right double click or right click or let me add it into this employee here and then I'm, i have click right click here and and then i'm just going to you know uh edit them into uh, and uh, you have also we have added the reason manager and the employee right and then you are going to add some uh, some metrics so metrics you can see this diamonds type of so icon that's uh, that's your attributes and this icon it's it's uh, it's represent the metrics so we are going to click on the profits and unit sold so you can see how we have added five uh, the the reasons manager employ and then two metrics the metric prop metrics uh, is uh, you know the profits and the unit solves but let's say you have added them but later your mind has been changed and you, you just want to make some changes into these templates or you can say hey I, I don't want to add these profits into this report so you can directly drag and drop from the reports you can see it like that you can just move your cursor and then you can leave on this matrix on this uh, yellow line and when if you leave here it's going to be at back or you have other options like right click and remove from grid so i have i have re, uh, removed from the grid and uh, if you just you have another option let's say uh remove from reports if you remove you click on this remove from reports then your objects going to be delete from here though it would be it will be available into into the micro strategy objects folder or wherever it's saved but it's not uh, i mean it's going to be delete from these templates so you need to let's say i just want to add this revenue before unit sold or if you just want to add the them after revenue sold unit solds then then you can add them if you just want to move here and there you can just pick and leave here where, wherever you just want it okay so that's how you can create a report based on your template so if you just want to run this report here you need to come go to here click on run reports you have the options to save and then save as and you have also a few options like the filter if you just want to see this report filter let's say uh, right now i haven't checked them and you know uh, this going to be a report filter has been removed and though this icon is the is a grid I, you cannot if you just want them so these are grid right so we cannot uncheck this and here you have the couple of options also if you just want to see the output in the graphs you have the options the graph you have the graph and grid both you have the also both options so let me just execute first this report and i will show you how you can how you can change this uh, output into the graphs and graphs and grid in both so you can see the the output of these reports uh, my reasons manager and my manager depends how it's uh, you know what's the attributes of your manager so the first name or last name or last name first name you can see it here are the first last name and the first name if you just want to let's see hey i don't uh, like the first name or last name or i just want the id of my manager and I'm just going to click on ID and it's going to add the ID also here. But let's say if 
you just want don't want the last name but the id and the id and the first name you can also do that uh, go to the attribute forms and here you have the options all right and here uh, uh, if you just want to change this grid into the graph so you have the options here either the grid only only graph only or you know uh, or the grid and graph both so let me just hit this graph button here and that's it's going to change into your graph report so now you can see here my series is revenue categories and values and all information here you can see the revenue and unit salts here so it has been changed now uh, into the graphs but i i'm in, more interested into graph with grid i just want to see this graph as well as my grid as well so you have the options also here the grid and graphs just next right to the graph you need to click on this grid and graph button and then then it's going to give you you know uh, you can sit here uh, below you have the grid and you have the graph as well so you have all the options here so and if you just want to share this report you have option the share if you just want to print you can print you can send the email you can send now through this through the emails you have the options then you can schedule it uh, delivery to your history list you have the options you can export them you can generate the pdf so i have a couple of options here so let me save these reports and i'm just going to save here my analysis report one i'm just going to save them and during the save you have the options the keep template as link objects and under the advanced options you have this report uses a shortcut a template you can choose so keep shortcut as template but i'm just leaving it blank uh, default right now okay so you can use them and you have options the filters and templates a lot other options as well but that's fine i'm not going to uh, select anything so i'm just going to uh, save this employee analysis report one uh, into my exercise one folder and here is the options also once you saved it will give a pop-ups to return to the original report or return or run the newly saved report whatever reports you just save it's going to tell you hey want you want to run the newly saved report yes and then you will get the same results here so that's how you can use uh, the existing template to create a reports okay and uh, you have we have saved this report with the employee analysis report one name you can see after saving this report the name of the report has been changed you have couple of options also here you can go to go to the tools and under the tools you have other options like these reports related options we have the report related options as well but if you just want to let's say you are seeing only the report details uh, under the report details the report filters but we cannot see the review filters we will take a look into the next videos for the different between the reports filter and the view filters but you have the option if you if you want to see you have you just need to go to the tools and under the report fil tools you need to click on view filter and you can see the view filter as well and you have the options the report options let's go to the report options here okay so here you have the options to merge the rows because you know why I want it, the merge the rows. You can see the matrix is showing here, the matrix name. I'm not interested, it's, it's look ugly into my reports. What is, the, what is this, the meaning of the matrix? I just want to remove this matrix from my reports. So you need to go to the tool, go to your report options. And under the report option, you need to click on this remove extra column and then click apply. And okay. And as soon as you click on them, remove extra columns, that's going to be removed from your reports. It's, it's really important to keep in mind, just need to go to tools, report options and remove extra columns. And also you just want to merge the rows or the columns. You have also the options to merge them. You just need to go to again tools and then report options. And here you have the options like I just want to merge the row, merge the rows and the column also if you just want it so i'm just leaving it with the roamers and then click ok and now you can see my manager and this uh, under the central it has been merged because i just merged my row so under the central earlier it, you can see the let me go to again and show you the difference 
and I'm just removing it and click on OK. So now you can see the central is repeating every time and one, two, three, four, couple of times it's repeating. But I just want to, I want to see one columns or or I mean the one rows for for the common. I mean I just want to see these you know the common reasons for this manager. So you what you need to do you need to merge the rows. And same you can do with with your column as well. So I'm just going to hit rows, and you can see right now it's showing the couple of so you know the reasons name. It's repeating, but it's going to be merged. Now you can see we have central only ones and send um, mid Atlantic only ones. So that's how you can merge uh, merge the rows and the column as well. Okay, guys. So we have learned how to create uh, the reports through the through the existing templates. We have also uh, learned how to remove this extra column name matrix, and we have also learned how to merge them and how to you know use the attribute form as well. We have also seen them the attribute forms and how to use them. Hope this helps you guys, and thank you.